His Majesty, King, uh, His Majesty the King's royal speech during the opening of the third session of the sixth legislative term emphasizes the kingdom's commitment to its position of solidarity and cooperation in support of Arab courses, in especially in regard to the situation in Gaza and Lebanon. More in this report. تلتزم مملكة البحرين بكل ما يملي عليها واجب التضامن والتعاون لنصرة القضايا العربية وبالسعي الجاد والحثيث من أجل خير الإنسانية وتقارب مجتمعاتها تحقيقا للسلام العالمي الذي يجب استعادته في مثل هذه الأوقات الصعبة his Majesty the King's royal speeches always emphasize the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to solidarity and cooperation with various countries to support Arab causes and confront the various challenges facing the region through its endeavors and quality initiatives on the road to peace. <laughs> السلمية وصولا لتحقيق السلام العادل والشامل والقائم على حل الدولتين وفق القرارات والمبادرات التاريخية التي يجب الإيفاء بها On the Palestinian cause and the difficult events in Gaza His Majesty the King reiterated the need for an immediate cessation of the war in Gaza and the resumption of all diplomatic efforts in accordance with international and UN resolutions and initiatives to establish an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital and to end the suffering of Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza. <laughs> الدائرة أراضي لبنان الشقيقة وعلى أطراف النزاع التنبه لخطورة الانجرار لحرب شاملة لن تحمد عقباها. In view of the current events taking place in Lebanon, the royal speech emphasized the need to resolve the clashes between the two parties to the conflict, put an end to the escalation, achieve peace on the Lebanese territories, and avoid being dragged into a full-scale war with disastrous consequences. ونجدد على هذا الصعيد دعوة مملكة البحرين التي تبناها الاجتماع الأخير للقمة العربية لعقد مؤتمر أو اجتماع موسع وعاجل يعيد الأمل في تحقيق السلام المنشود. In light of the geopolitical events, the Kingdom of Bahrain renewed its call for an international conference on peace in the Middle East, which was announced last May during the Bahrain summit, with the aim of highlighting the core issues and discussing international efforts to address them and achieve stability in the region. A number of ambassadors accredited to the Kingdom of Bahrain expressed their pride in His Majesty the King's royal vision to promote peace in the region. So as the American ambassador, it's a true honor to be here at the opening of Parliament. And this kind of a ceremony really shows Bahrain's commitment to democracy. His Majesty the King spoke beautifully and he laid out his vision of the future of the country and then, of course, all of the members of the government, the members of the parliament were here, and they're going to uh, take on his vision and then implement it. For me, as a guest in your country, this is a fabulous event. It makes me proud to be here. Yeah, I think it was a very important speech uh, about uh, national unity, about peace in the region, and about the responsibility of the parliament to work on continue to unite the nation, follow up on the peace uh, message uh, that His Majesty uh, also gave through the summit of the Arab League uh, back in May. So uh, I think there's, there was a lot in that speech that uh, just strengthens the character of a peace-loving nation of Bahrain. And uh, I'm really looking forward to working with Bahraini diplomacy and with the parliament on, you know, contributing whatever Germany can contribute to this work. 
And to speak more about this, we are joined by the Chief of America's Affairs, Salman Hassan Al Jalahma, who delivered the following statement. The speech that was delivered by His Majesty the King during the opening of Parliament last week comes at a particularly critical time amidst today's regional challenges. Uh, we saw this reflected in His Majesty's speech, where Bahrain's position on regional issues was made unequivocally clear, especially on the current crisis in Gaza, where His Majesty reaffirmed Bahrain's unwavering commitment to Arab solidarity towards the Palestinian cause. Um, and stressed the importance of truly working together towards alleviating their dire humanitarian situation. His Majesty's speech also highlighted the need for a true collective Arab effort to achieve sustainable peace in the region, an ideal that I believe the entire world can get behind. His Majesty reaffirmed the urgent need for an immediate end to the war, a resumption of diplomatic efforts to achieve a just resolution based on a two-state solution, and warned of the dangers of the situation escalating to full-scale war, emphasizing the urgent need for de-escalation. Bahrain is at a particularly important time in its history as it currently presides over the 33rd Arab League Summit. And this is a time where Bahrain has to play an active role and has a responsibility and leadership to bring together a united Arab front to address the issue the region faces today and develop concrete solutions to elevate the lives of the people of the region. And it's for this reason Bahrain announced a series of initiatives at the summit, including hosting an international peace conference to resolve the Palestinian issue, with the objective of achieving a two-state solution, ending the Israeli occupation of all occupied Arab territories, and the establishment of an independent, sovereign, and viable Palestinian state in accordance with international resolutions. Now, this includes encouraging foreign ministers of Arab countries to, to communicate with the foreign ministers of the world and urge them to recognize the state of Palestine. In addition, Bahrain called for providing education and health services to all those affected by conflicts of the region in coordination between the League of Arab States and the relevant international organizations. Bahrain also announced cooperating on the development in the fields of fintech innovation and digital transformation in order to provide a viable environment for the development of innovative financial products and services using today's advanced technology. Under the directive of His Majesty, Bahrain is keen to play a pivotal role in maintaining regional security and stability, safeguarding the interests of the Arab peoples, and promoting the values of acceptance and coexistence, all in the hope of advancing regional aspirations towards growth and development, which will consequently impact the world in a positive way.
the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, followed the launch of the new season of endurance races 2024 to 2025, which witnessed the holding of 40 and 80 kilometer local qualifying races and 100 kilometer international races at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. The races were attended by the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Authority of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, participated in the season's launch in the 40-kilometer qualifying race with the victorious team. The races were also attended by the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan bint Najib Tawfiqi, and the President of the Bahrain Paralympic Committee, Sheikh Mohammed bin Adij Al Khalifa. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the wide participation witnessed in the races affirms the successful journey of Bahraini endurance sports and the extent of its wide popularity through the entry of new faces year after year with various local stables. His Highness also noted the large youth participation witnessed in the races, making youth a key element in the, inter in the inheritance of this ancient sport. The efforts and follow-ups undertaken by the Ministry of Interior during the recent period resulted in the return of the five Bahraini citizens arrested in Yemen. The ministry commended the constructive cooperation showed by the official authorities of Yemen. The five citizens had been detained in Yemen last August for security reasons, where the competent authorities have since initiated contacts with the official authorities in Yemen within the framework of security cooperation and coordination. The five citizens are currently undergoing legal and necessary procedures to ensure their security and safety. The parliamentary division of the Kingdom of Bahrain represented by member of the Council of Representatives Dr. Mahdi Abdelaziz Lishweikh participated in a workshop entitled Parliamentary Participation in Digital Policy as part of the activities of the General Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union held in Geneva. Lishweikh pointed to the vital role of the parliaments in formulating laws and legislation that regulate the use of technology and information in a manner that enhances innovation in the digital environment, one, of one on the one hand and guarantees citizens' rights and freedoms on the other. 
The parliamentary division participated in the ASEAN Parliamentary Assembly political women's meeting. In a speech during the meeting, Shura Council member Talal al mannai affirmed that the support Bahraini women receive from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is evident in their growing participation in political work and decision making and their effective contributions to comprehensive national development. He also referred to the initiatives undertaken by the Supreme Council for Environment headed by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Council, which has contributed to achieve the prestigious status of Bahraini woman. The General Secretariat of the Shura Council won the Organization of the Year in Digital Transformation Award at the 12th Annual GCC Government Human Resources Summit held in Abu Dhabi. The Secretary General of the Shura Council, Karima Al Abbasi, stressed that the progress made by the General Secretariat in developing its administrative and technical systems and adopting the latest digital and technological methods aims to enhance efficiency and innovation in legislative and administrative work. She noted that the award represents an addition to the record of achievements of the legislative authority in the Kingdom of Bahrain and an incentive for the General Secretariat to continue developing its institutional and digital performance. As part of the Supreme Council for Health's efforts to provide safe medicine in the Kingdom of Bahrain, the centralized warehouses for medicines and medical supplies under the Health Insurance Fund have been developed to contribute to the development of the health system in Bahrain. More in this report. The Central Warehouses for Medicines and Medical Supplies, which came under the name Shifa National Medical Supply Center, is a center that was fully developed by the Supreme Council of Health, believing in the importance of continuous development to improve the quality of health services in the kingdom, so that this vital project becomes a testament to the civilizational and development achievements directed at serving citizens and residents and meeting their basic needs, representing a strategic importance in achieving pharmaceutical security for the kingdom of Bahrain. This important project comes in implementation of the Cabinet's decision to transfer the central medical stores to the Supreme Council of Health, where a comprehensive development strategy was developed to enhance the quality of medical services and meet the growing needs of the community. The central stores will also be tasked with activating an effective procurement tracking system to record inventory data, develop a system for inventory management and dispensing medicine to pharmacies affiliated with government hospitals and audit the operations of the central stores, pharmacies and other concerned departments. The central warehouses contribute to the provision of basic specialized materials and medicines needed for patients and provide the required facilities for all the needs of those visiting hospitals and primary health care centers within the framework of achieving the desired improvement in the medical services provided to all in order to enhance the amount of sincere efforts exerted and joint coordination between all concerned parties to reach the desired goals. Government hospitals have set up an awareness stand at the Avenues Mall to educate and raise awareness about patient safety. The CEO of government hospitals, Dr. Maria El Jalahma, emphasized the commitment of government hospitals to provide the highest levels of health care and ensure patient safety and improve in the patient experience. The two-day platform offers a variety of educational resources, including awareness videos and interactive tools to help patients understand and implement effective safety procedures. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities organized the Youth Forum for Intangible Cultural Heritage in the presence of a number of public and private school students. The forum came in celebration of the World Day for Intangible Cultural Heritage, which was launched by the UNESCO for the first time this year, with the aim of enhancing youth awareness of the role of intangible cultural heritage and preserving the Bahraini identity. During the forum, several presentations were made on different aspects of this type of heritage, emphasizing the importance of traditions, performing arts and social practices in shaping local cultures, while stressing the need to preserve them from extension in the fast-paced world through sustainable documentation and preservation strategies.
And before we end the bulletin, let's take a look at the latest sustainable development news in the following report. The Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the countries that possesses a rich and diverse marine wealth, and it also pays special attention to protecting its fish wealth given its economic, environmental, and social importance. The General Directorate of Marine Resources at the Executive Authority of the Supreme Council for the Environment announced lifting the ban imposed on fishing kingfish in Bahrain's territorial waters, along with removing the restrictions on their sale in public areas. This follows the end of the fishing ban imposed on August 15th during the fish breeding season. The directorate said that the ban was part of Bahrain's efforts to protect marine resources in line with the regulations of fishing exploitation and protection of marine resources. It also follows the decisions of the GCC Agricultural Cooperation Committee at its 23rd meeting, which include measures to protect kingfish. The ban aimed to increase fish stocks by regulating fishing activities during the breeding season, preventing overfishing and ensuring balance within marine ecosystems. The directorate commended the fishermen's cooperation and sense of responsibility during the ban, reflecting a national partnership aimed at protecting and sustaining fish resources. The fisheries sector is one of the main pillars of the economic and food development, and by taking the necessary measures, the Kingdom of Bahrain seeks through these decisions to ensure the sustainability and protection of fisheries wealth which enhances food security and the local economy.